The signature features of Apple Inc. SAAP L2.42% new iPhones bigger screens and dual SIM support speak directly to demands in the all-important China market. Chinese rivals already offer similar features for less money. That means the improvements may help Apple retain its market share in China, but may not be able to win new converts to Apple's ecosystem and that could keep sales flat, analysts say. It's still hard for Apple to attract wider Chinese consumers from Android users, said Mo Chia. A Shanghai-based analyst at market research firm Canalys, citing the extremely high price band compared to local high-end Android products. The Apple iPhone launch also drew criticism on Chinese social media Thursday. During the launch announcement at Apple headquarters in Cupertino, California, a day earlier, an image of global release dates projected on stage included Taiwan and its flag as distinct from China. Taiwan has an independent government, but China claims the island as its own and has previously pushed airlines, Hotelier Marriott International Inc. and other companies to change online references that suggest Taiwan isn't part of China. Apple, what did you mean at the launch event, the Communist Youth League posted on its Weibo social media account. The Communist Party tabloid Global Times reported online that Chinese netizens are urging Apple to follow the One China principle. Apple didn't immediately reply to a request for comment. The starting price of the new phones by Apple will range from about $950 and $1,400 in China, while a handset produced by rival Huawei Technologies Co. With a dual SIM card feature and similar screen size can be found for about $660. After back-to-back -back years of steep sales declines, Apple's China business has bounced back recently, helping the company hit record profits. Revenue in the region has risen 16% to $40.53 billion in the three fiscal quarters ended in June. Greater China accounts for about a fifth of its total revenue. Yet its market share in China has been treading water. Once the top seller in China, Apple is now the fifth best-selling brand with a 6% market share in April-June. Down one percentage point from a year earlier. Data from Canalys showed.